Uh, President, my question is to the Leader of the Government and Minister representing the Treasurer. And I refer to the extraordinary bombshell evidence of corruption, contract rigging, feather bedding, sprinkles, top-ups, the whole stinky, smelly scene of tendering in the public transport sector, and the critical work being undertaken by IBAC to expose these crooked practices. I also refer to the IBAC annual report tabled yesterday, which revealed investigations are not being undertaken into some matters due to budget restraints, and I quote, even when the allegations in the systemic or in the complaint or notification meet the criteria of being serious or systemic. And therefore, Minister, I ask, has the Andrews Labor government starved IBAC of funds, effectively preventing it from undertaking embarrassing investigations and covering up corrupt practices inside the Andrews Labor government? Thank you, Leader of the Government. <laughs> Thank you, President. And I, I will, I will um, uh, commence my uh, response by picking up the interjection of Mr. Lean in. Uh, uh, his, his identification of the fact that the important work that IBAC does is in, cover, uh, in uncovering um, uh, corruption, and it, it, I, 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 I concur with much of much of the much of the um, much of the commentary of Mr. Davis. This is appalling what's what's transpiring, and it's great that we have a body that is able to to examine, unveil this, and the appropriate action be taken uh, in relation to the budgetary. Uh, 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 provision for IBAC. I'll, I'll take that on notice, but I would note that the budget for IBAC has increased uh, year on year, and uh, I'll provide a written answer to um, provide those further particulars um, as required under the standing orders. Thank you. Mr Davis on a supplementary. So I again draw the, thank the Minister for answer, and I again draw her to the comments made by the IBAC um, report which say even when the allegations in the complaint or notification meet the criteria of being serious or systemic, there are budget restraints which are stopping inquiries going ahead. And I therefore ask, will you guarantee the IBAC's budget bid will be met in full or will you continue the cover-up? Leader of the Government. Uh, thank you, President, and I will um, refer the uh, question to the Treasurer and provide a written response in relation to uh, the budgetary requirements of IBAC and I'm not in a position to preempt any budget announcements pre uh, the budget in, on the 24th of November. Thank you.